Hi, so for those of you looking to use the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation, which comes with the IBKR Pro account level, well, today I'll go through the basics of the platform so you can get a little bit more familiar. Now, at first, the platform is kind of intimidating, not as easy as Saxo Trader, but it is still a solid platform to use. It does give you more access to more options markets and a larger selection of international stocks, so it's a great platform to have. Okay, now the first thing you'll have to do is download the Trader Workstation onto your laptop or PC. Make sure to download the Windows version if you have a Windows or the Mac version if you have a Mac. Now go ahead and install that onto your computer. Okay, now once that is downloaded, you will be asked to log in, just like you would for the client portal. If you have never logged in before, you will need the Interactive Brokers app on your phone. Honestly, the first time you do this is the hardest and if you need help, you can chat to customer support online. They're pretty good. Now, I assume you have logged in and you hit this screen on the computer. Now, on the screen we're looking at, it is called the Mosaic Layout. You can choose to go into the classic layout style, but I find the Mosaic Layout a bit simpler to use. The features are the same, just a different layout. Now, the Learn tab is an area which is where you can contact support and learn all you want to know about the different types of investments. In the monitor window on the right hand side, the first tab is called Portfolio. Now, I have covered this up as it shows my personal information and my account position, what stocks I own, my cash, my overall portfolio value, and all that other stuff. Now, on the next tab, it is called Favorites. Now, I have filled in a list of companies here that I have been looking at for whatever reason. This is like a watch list. Now, to add a company to the watch list, what I need to do is just click on a free line somewhere, and then I type in the stock ticker that I want. So, I'm gonna put in Etsy, and I press Enter, and I want to make sure there's here are all the different Etsy options that I have here. I've got the options uh, market, I've got the stock, I've got the Mexican stock. I want the NASDAQ stock for Etsy. So I'm gonna click that. And it's been added here to my watch list. Now the next tab is the US Movers tab. Now this shows a list of the biggest percentage downs and ups for the current trading day. Honestly, I never look into this tab, so let's just move on. Okay, so along the top, you're gonna to see the file tab. And here you have general software tools. The most important thing is probably the options chain where you can buy and sell options of a stock. Now I've made an entire video before going through this for interactive brokers, so I won't repeat myself here. Check that video out for a tutorial on selling put options specifically. Now the account tab is where you find a few important things. Firstly is where you can change your password and other settings, you do that by going down here. And then you can also access trading reports. So this is really helpful when it comes to tax time or you just want to see how your performance has been going, you can download specific reports. Now in the help tab, you can actually watch other video tutorials and get other help from interactive brokers. So go there if you're really confused about something, their customer service, like I said before, isn't too bad. Okay, now on the actual screen, we have the order entry window. That's this little part up here and this is where we place an order. Now underneath that, we have the stock information for the current stock that we've selected. And underneath that, we have the order summary window. This is where we can see if our orders were placed and they're actually working. Now ignore the order that I have in here. I've actually canceled it and it's not working anyway. So let's just make an actual order right now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place an order for Etsy because I think Etsy is a good company. So I've already clicked on Etsy here. Uh, from my favorites tab, so it's giving me the order entry up here. Now I wanna make sure I'm pressing buy. Now the quantity, so I wanna buy this at $175, so I actually might just write that in first, $175. Now I've decided $175 is a good price for me as my entry point based on valuing the company from a previous video. So look, go check out my valuation why I come up with $175. Now I would buy, 100 is probably an okay number for me. It's be one, that'd be $17,500 I'd have to spend. So I'm happy with that. So the limit here, this is limit, uh, mid price market, all these different things here. I wanna place a limit order. Okay, don't worry about those other ones. It's, look, it's a bit technical. It's not really that important. You can place what's called a market order, which means I'm not gonna be buying at 175. I'm gonna be buying at whatever the market gives me at this point in time, which would be 247.88, roughly, somewhere around there. But I don't wanna do that, I wanna buy at 175. So that's what I've got 175 there for. Okay, this is really important. You wanna change it from day to GTC. 
GTC means good till cancelled. That means I can leave this for months and months and months and not have to check on it every day or re redo the order every day. If I kept it on day, it's going to cancel the end of the trading day. So I would have to then go back in tomorrow and put the order in again or whenever I feel like it's getting close to 175, I'd have to place the order. Now I don't wanna have to do that. I wanna just have this run forever until I get it at $175. So I put GTC. Okay, so I double check everything here. It all looks good. I press submit. Okay, so now the order confirmation screen comes up. So it just tells me what the commission is gonna be charged, which is about a dollar. Uh, everything here looks good, 117,500 US dollars. That's what I thought it would be. So I press override and transmit. Okay, great. So now as we can see down here in the order window, it's green, which means it's working. And the action is going to be to buy. It's a limit order at this price. And it obviously zero out of 100 shares have been filled so far. So we have to wait. That might take months. It might never happen. I have no idea, but I have that order in ready to go. Okay, now that was buying. Now, if I want to actually sell something, I pretty much do exactly the same thing. So let's say I already bought the 100 shares. I would then press the sell button here. Sell however many units I want to sell. Maybe I don't want to sell all 100. Maybe I want to sell 50 of them for whatever reason. Anyway, it's the same idea. I put a limit. I put the price that I want to sell it at. I put good till cancelled here and I'd press submit. Now I can't do that right now because I haven't bought the shares, but it's literally the same thing in reverse. You get the order confirmation, you press accept. Now lastly, I'm going to show you how to play around with this layout. You don't have to keep it exactly the same as me. So what you do is you go to file and you go unlock layout edit mode. So I click on that and it gives me the ability now to to readjust the size of some of these things. I can make it over here. I can rearrange, put them in different orders, move them to different places, whatever I feel comfortable with. And then whenever I'm happy with where it is, uh, I press go back to file and I lock the layout. Press save and bam, there it is. So that's how I move the these windows around and readjust them. And you can even add different windows here as well. So that's where you have new window. I can add new windows. So maybe I want a chart or something like that. So there we go. Maybe I want the Etsy chart to be locked in here somewhere. So I would have to unlock the screen, put this in and then relock the screen again. Now this was just a beginner's tutorial. If you wanna know how to do anything advanced like stop loss orders or any other fancier trading styles, all this is just not my investing style. So look, I just buy something and that's pretty much it. I do have a selling put options tutorial, like I said earlier, for those interested, but look, it's not necessary. For 95% of investors, what I have shown you today is all you will need. Look, it's a pretty simple platform to use once you have used it a few times. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Hit me up in the comments if you have a profitable company that has big upside potential and give me plenty of good reasons to investigate it. The company that I just placed an order for, Etsy, was one of those companies that came from a comment. I made a video about the company for those of you who want to see that. Thanks for making it all the way to the end and I will see you in the next video.